standing up for animals. I'm Natish Basoto in the city's West End, where animal rights activists braved the cold and the rain to protest this restaurant. They're not happy with the menu here, which features game meat, and they're back again after their protests made headlines all around the world. It's another weekend, another protest for these animal rights activists outside Antler, only one week after this happened. And this is what he's doing. They were gathered at the same spot last week when they say Antler's owner, Michael Hunter, taunted them by bringing out a deer leg to the front window and cutting it up in front of them. Pretty shocked actually when he brought out the uh, deer leg, started to carve it up there in front of everyone like that. He's very much antagonizing the people, so very shocked at that point. Um, but you know what? It, helps galvanize the community and look at the people that it's brought out at this point. Activists say they're concerned with the restaurant's menu that includes foie gras, the fattened liver of a goose or duck and game meat like boar, venison and bison. Why them of all places? Why do you keep coming back here? So the reason I keep coming back is I do neighborhood grassroots activism, antlers in my neighborhood and the point of coming repeated times is to eventually have dialogue. It's getting the owner of the restaurant out of his comfort zone and it's been successful with other restaurants who actually have made menu changes. We reached out to Michael Hunter, the owner of the restaurant. He wouldn't speak to City News even though there's been an outpouring of support online for his restaurant. Many saying these protests won't deter them from going. In some cases, the publicity has helped people discover the restaurant, including American stand-up comedian Peyton Oswalt, who tweeted, next time I'm in Toronto, I'm dining at Antler. While the activists have been receiving some support, they've also faced a lot of backlash online. So much so that police presence was required for tonight's protest. For, for me personally, it gave me a kind of glimpse into the future of what we're going to be having to deal with because just like all social justice movements throughout history, things have gotten worse before they got better. Now organizers say they won't give up their fight. They wouldn't tell me what they have planned next, but the goal for them is to have a healthy dialogue and to see some sort of change. In the city's West End, I'm Natish Bassano, City News.